Um, hi, my name is Cynthia Calloway. I'm Jasmine White. I'm Grace Ellis. I'm Ashley Marco. We're all seniors from Waverly High School. And you were saying... And this is, can you hear me now? My first word was no. no. It was the only verbal ammo I had in my arsenal. No, no to bath time. No, no to broccoli. No, no to brushing my hair. No, no to being quiet. I don't know how many times I was told there was no saying no to mom and dad. Their incessant scolding chased no. no into hiding. Hiding in words like, I'll do it later, mom. Uh, not now. Maybe not. I'll think about it. No. no became a word only to be used softly. And a no, no thanks. thanks. Or a sorry no. 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 no was no longer harsh. Demanding, individual, rebellious no was no longer powerful. And sometime between when boys pulled my hair and when they started to hold my hand. Sometime between playdates and real dates. I learned not, not to be either. Became submissive. Became quiet. Became meek and passive. But after years of swallowing this word like bitter bile, forcing myself to choke back rebellion, I struggled to find no in the needless apologizing and meaningless no thank yous. My mother first told me I had to learn to say no when people started pushing. Pushing elbows into sides. Drinks into hands. Hands into pants. No, no became, became a, a mantra, mantra, a gospel, protecting me from intruding fingers and wandering hands. But all too often and it wasn't enough. No. no. Just a scream falling on deaf ears. No. no. Just a dysfunctional defense mechanism. No. no. Just never enough. To stop men from taking virginities like carnival prizes. Never enough. To prevent teenage boys from groping at you in an empty church basement. Never enough. To silence whistles and show, show me a smile. smile. Never enough. To reclaim the strength that had been stolen from me so many times. The sword I once wielded on my toddler lips. The power I once held. Never enough to be hurt. But my voice means something. My no means something. That word that rages its way through my tightened throat. That word that claws so ferociously past my clenched teeth. Means something. Means my choices are mine to make. Means you can't force me to be quiet. Means I am more than an object for your pervasive eyes. I am a person, an, an honor, honor student, an athlete, a future educator. I may be vulnerable, but I am strong. I am a woman, and no one can take that away from me.